This is the second uh, video tutorial using JClose from Hot Potatoes. This time um, it's going to be using video. So look at this. I already had the folder, but it is empty. Why? Because the video is going to be uh, hosted in the internet and then we're going to embed it into uh, Hot Potato JClose. So let's open it. Let's give it a name. That's the name. Let's save it. And it's going to be in our folder. I'm going to use the same name as the folder. People dash work. Okay. Mm. These are the sentences. I'm going to copy them and paste them here. Yes, and then you can choose the answer as a gap, or you can use any other word. I'm going to use this, the answer. I'm going to say yes and OK. But I'm going to change the options. Raise this. And I'm going to change the instructions. Remember, in the feedback, we leave it like that. In the buttons, we don't want any link to any place. And the appearance, leave it like that, except you can change to medium or large. Remember, timer, no timer, other. This time, I won't choose any of this. I'm going to leave it open. A little bit more difficult for students, but let's leave it like that. So I'm going to choose only the answers. I recommend, don't, don't change the clue. Uh, don't give any clue. But everyone, this one is uh, the apostrophe. The problem is that sometimes students use uh, the Spanish uh, keyboard and they use what we call the tilde, el acento in Spanish. So I'm gonna give the same answer but using the option of the acento. Yes, so you have, you, you give students an alternative answer. Okay, now this one should be Oops, I'm forgetting this. I'm going to, to delete the, gap, the gaps. It's better if you give students no space. I mean, no. Ask students to give complete answers, but leave the period at the end. Yes. Okay. And this is the other alternative. Again, in this one, give three more alternatives. Alternative alternatives. Oops. And this is another way to. Sorry, no period at the end. Okay. 
here is only the name or you can you can write her name is Hillary This is the problem. We must give students many options. Let's say this three. In the last one, even no, should be complete sentence. Okay. Now we save it and then let's see how it looks. Yes, but we are missing the video. Okay. Uh, the video should be done previously to designing this hot potato exercise. And I recommend do not upload it to YouTube. Why? Because it's a really, really, really busy server. So let's go to a new website that is called teachertube.com. You get an account, it is free, and then you upload the video. I already had the video and I uploaded the video. Yes, this is the website I have the video in. Let me show you. Okay. Oops, it doesn't want to, but let me go and find it. This one. Okay, I wanted to show you that in this part, I'm going to show you with a different video. In this part, for example, I'm going to choose this video and we should copy the embedding code. This is the video and you go to this part this is the embeddable player, the embedding code. So you copy this. This embeddable code, yes, in order to Okay. This is my embeddable player. So I copy it and I go to J close and look at this. You click on this book. Yes, it is for inserting a written, written passage. But I'm going to change it. I'm going to say yes, include, but I paste the code and I say OK. I save it. That was changed. Go to the HTML and it should be. In the same, I made a mistake. The same place, and then we have the video and the questions. Yes, okay. I'm Kim. Now, you close this, 
minimize this, close this, and this is the folder you should send me, right? I'm gonna delete this because it was in the incorrect place. This is the one you should send me, so you must rename it using your name. Like that. And then you right click, and then you go into this part. You need to compress the file. You may have WinZip or WinRAR. I have WinRAR, so the extension of the file is RAR, RAR. So, this is the one you're going to send me. You okay, guys, good luck. Remember, any questions, you have my email address. Bye-bye.